Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. Here in today's short video, we'll be talking about DevOps related interview questions you may get in your Salesforce developer interview. Okay, so Salesforce developer interview is no longer only about Salesforce. It is also about a couple of other things and DevOps is one of the very important things. Now that companies are expecting you to have knowledge about DevOps as well. So it is very important for a Salesforce developer that we learn DevOps as well. And as you say that you have experience in DevOps, these are commonly asked questions you get in the DevOps. So let's begin the question. Number one, first question is what are the different DevOps tools you have worked on? There are variety of tools available in the DevOps workspace and companies will expect you to know at least one of them. So the first and logical question will be what are the different tools you have worked on? Depending on what you answer, there could be a couple of cross questions as well. But we have we have Flossum, we have Copado, we have AutoRabbit, we have Gearset. Depending on which tools you have worked on, you can answer it and uh, these all are very easy tools like they make your deployment process very easy and you need not to learn all those git commands which runs in the back end ui is very smooth and uh, deployment becomes really easy if you know them they all are paid tools so if clients are using those tools and if you already know them that increases your chances of getting selected okay so make sure you at least are comfortable with one of these tools because this is going to be really important for your interview uh second question is what is the deployment pipeline the moment deployments or ci cd comes in picture they will be asking about what is your deployment pipeline as in how you do the deployment so you here you will have to explain how your deployment process work then how do you do testing how do you then move those things to production so most of the time companies works in the sandboxes in the dev environment and then they move things to QA environment. From QA, they move things to UAT environment where the business testers work on. Then few companies have pre-production org, which they use for final testing, and then they have production. They additionally can have a hotfix branch as well, which they will use when you they'll have to fix something. So from dev to QA to UAT to pre-prod to production, this is their deployment pipeline. Make sure you explain it properly and explain it depending on how you actually do it in your org. Okay, third question is how do you resolve the merge conflict during deployment? This is the most important and most commonly asked question from the DevOps spaces. How do you resolve the merge conflict? Like there will be classes where multiple developers will be working. There will be scenarios when your branches will be out of sync. And at that time, when you try to deploy things, it is very important that you only move your changes you do not move other changes but let's say if sync there is no sync in the repositories and you're trying to move something which contains the work of other developers as well you may get some merge conflict you can resolve your, your merge conflict in git or in vs code or any editor you are using but important here is that you should have the developers who have worked on that piece of code together so that you will be able to resolve it properly. You will not be resolving it by default by picking the incoming changes or leaving out the out, out, uh, incoming changes. So make sure that other developers who have worked on that same piece are also there. And then uh, together you all can resolve those merge conflict. Uh, the next question is, uh, you have recently deployed something in production and then that thing went wrong what will be your approach now so you recently deployed something but that deployment went wrong so first step will be that you roll back that deployment you roll back those things because uh, if you are not sure which thing went wrong then you will have to roll back keep it uh, or try to reinstate the previous state of your org and then try to fix it in the back end and see what went wrong what were the things which went wrong and then try to resolve it okay and uh, the last question is you have a developer of 
you have five developers team five developers are working on a same project how do you make sure that those developers are not uh, kind of overriding other developers code how do you make sure that they are working on only their piece of code there will always be the case when they'll be working on each other's code so to answer this you will have to um, try to answer it in a way that if there are different developers and they have their own sandboxes then that will not create any problem because they will be creating branches from their own sandbox but if they are using common sandbox and if they are using common classes where they when they are developing it is very important that they only move their changes to the higher environment even if there is a class where let's say there are 10 changes but if i am moving my change and there is only one change done by me i will only move my change even if it is showing me 10 changes i will i will leave those nine changes for someone else so i i'll not move any other changes otherwise when they will try to do they will get the merge conflict okay so there will be many developers who have mostly worked only on the chain sets and for those developers it is very important that you upskill yourself or at least try to learn the basics of git because it is very important nowadays if you don't know the basics of git um they they come there will be other developers who knows it and they will have healthier chances of getting selected than you even if you are a good salesforce developer so because now companies are looking for all round performers okay and then i am going to end this on a very positive note there are people who just know chain sets you can try to explore the devops center which was recently launched by salesforce devops center is salesforce in house tool it is very easy trailhead is available go through the trailhead on devops center and try to explore it there are couple of limitations on devops center but it is better than than just saying chain sets so if you are going for an interview and you just say you know only chain sets it will be better if you say that you are also exploring devops center from the future point of view that will create more impact i hope you find these kind of videos helpful do let me know your feedbacks on the comment box so that i keep on updating my content thank you